R.I.P. to the competition. Hey, what's good guys your boy Dizo and we're back again another video today we're gonna to be talking about the EQT 9317 milled leather uh, we'll get to it in a little bit why they're called such um, but then let's go to the tech specs of the shoe it has a weird outsole I know but it works for casual use so it's not like your ultra boost version 1 where you make that squeaky noise or uh, slip inside a mall while you're walking no this actually work uh, compared to the version ones of the uh, ultra boost you got that different type of pattern right there in the front and the back of the uh, outsole no torsion system but who cares this is a casual shoe anyways um, on to the upper Adidas calling this their pixelated signature knit upper with signature embroidered lines take that that's their own words, that's Adidas words for it. We're just consumers and we like their uh, product. It's not as stretchy as the uh, Ultra Boost version, but it stretches enough to be comfortable in your feet once they're in there. We got like a not tightly stitched pattern of mesh right here, right here and on the tongue, breathable as they can be. And then on the medial side, you actually have a good ass quality suede right here. But um, compared to uh, mesh and the knit pattern, this part right here is what makes the shoe tight. So this is not forgiving part right here. Trust me on that. But then again, it could stretch all the way to the outer part of the shoe. This is, which is why this is very important right here. The mesh and the knit pattern that's on the side. Um, also, Adidas is calling this part right here their signature EQT webbing tape three stripes. All right, that's their own um, terminology for it. Um, oh, by the way, also on the back is also connected to that um, quarter panel of suede is their pull tab or heel counter part right here that's also suede they are surrounded by um, this this is actually leather so if you've had the older models of the EQT this used to be a uh, TPU and this one a different colored TPU but on this one it's actually uh, that wallet type of leather, you know, something kind of hard. It's not that plush leather. Um, we have an ortholite insole. And the sock liners are actually mesh. Um, compared to the other ones, I think the other versions had a uh, suede and the other one had neoprene uh, material on it. So when I got this on my foot, they actually feel more secure uh, than the previous models. And I think we've covered everything up for the shoe. Mm. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much why they're called milled leather because of the material instead of the TPU. And instead of that um, 3M material, I think this is the same type of leather or a smoother type of leather on the tag than what is used on this one and for those of you who've had this shoes already I know it says oh, let me uh, close up on that one 9117 
that's no typo the 91 is because the original EQTs came out in 91 down to this year which is 17 so 91 17 even though this model is 93 17 and I forgot about the lace jewel that uh, that's always leather it says EQT right there alright guys so uh, an off foot video coming right up after this I hope you guys like the video uh, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys soon peace out